Looking for answers to your research questions? Want to learn more about a topic of interest? Need a reliable source of information? Sounds like you need Worldbook Online. Nonmaster Middle School subscribes to this online encyclopedia for all its students. I'm Mrs. Krause, the Knob Nostra Middle School Librarian, and today we're going to learn how to access Worldbook Online, how to get around in it, and how to create your very own Worldbook Online account. To access Worldbook Online, start at the Knob Nostra Middle School website. Click over here on Databases and Links, and then click on the Worldbook Online link. If you are at school, you won't need to put in a username and password, but if you are doing some research at home or someplace else that's not on campus, you will need to type in the username, which is knobnoster, all one word, and the password, which is panther. Notice that these are all lowercase. This is the Worldbook Online home screen. There are lots of databases to choose from depending on what you're researching. If you want to know more about ancient civilizations, you might look at early peoples. Or if you want to know about Thomas Edison, you might look here at Inventions and Discoveries. But most people look under Worldbook Kids, Student, or Advanced for general research. For middle school students, the kids and the student databases are the most useful. Advanced is usually used at the high school and college level. Let's take a look at the kids database. As you see, it kind of has an elementary look with colorful graphics and lots of icons to click on so that you don't have to type too much. But even though it looks a little kiddish, it still has good information for middle school researchers. For example, you can click on important people and then you can look at different people depending on what they've done or you can come down here at these categories and choose one. I'll choose athletes for example and I'll choose Hank Aaron and you get a little bit of information about Hank Aaron but notice that there are also links to more articles in the World Book Student database and you can read lots of things about Hank Aaron. In the World Book Kids, you can also see that you can get your citation information so that you can use any of these for a work cited page. Now to get back to that home screen so you can look at some of the other databases, scroll down to the bottom of your screen and you'll click on this World Book Home link to get back to that original page. Now we're going to explore the student database. Here's where we'll create our own Rulebook Online accounts, but in order to do that we have to do an initial search. Here's the search window. Notice that you can search just the student database or you can click this button and Rulebook Student will research both the Rulebook Student Kids and databases at the same time. Let's look at the difference. First we'll just do a student search. I'll type Greek Gods. Notice that I'm doing all lowercase. You don't have to capitalize when you do a search. And it looks here that like I've got 338 encyclopedia articles. But also make sure you pay attention to what else is in this box because they have lots of other things. Notice here that I get five tables. When I click on the tables link I get some useful material like this chart here that compares Greek and Roman gods. There are also pictures and there are videos. There are even links to some outside web sources and you can look at those as well. Any of those would be useful. Now. Here's my search in the upper right hand corner. Watch what happens to my search if I click on this World Book Student and Kids. It's going to search for Greek gods in both the World Book Student and the World Book Kids database. Let's see what that looks like. As you can see, my results page is split with the World Book Student results on the left and the World Book Kids items on the right. Now you're searching two databases at once, which can give you different types of information. Once you've found an article that you think might be helpful, you click on the title and you'll see a whole range of tools up here in your toolbox that will help you. You can print the article, you can email it to yourself or to somebody else, you can highlight a word, 
and then let me just highlight it once first. If you click this highlight search term in text, then it will highlight it throughout the whole article. If you double click a word, it will give you a dictionary definition. You can also have the text read to you. If you clear the uh, click this here text read aloud and then you click in the article, give it a minute and it'll start reading. You can also save the article to my research. What's that, you may ask? Well, it is a place where you can create an account and then when you're logged in you can save articles to your account so you don't lose them. Let's create an account. If you already have a Rulebook Online account, you don't need to finish watching this video. Just go on to the activity. However, if you do need to create an account, here's what you do. You click on this My Research link in the upper right hand corner. If you click on that, then if you already have an account, then you can put your username and password here. If you have never created an account, then you click on this Create an Account, and you're just going to type your first name, and you will select a student account, and then you'll type your institution name, and that's Nob Noster R8 Schools. That's the official name of Nob Noster School District, and that's uh, Roman numeral 8, which is capital V, capital I, capital I, capital I. For your research username, use your school's email address because no one else will have that username. And then choose a password. Use your three letters and four number password that you use here at school because that is definitely one that you won't forget. And then choose a security question. They give you some choices here. What's your pet's favorite name? What's your mother's middle name, etc.? And give your answer. And then just click Submit. I've already got an account, so I'll go ahead and put my username and password in. I've had this account for a long time, and all the articles I've saved through the years are still here. I can create projects or I can add articles, books, and websites under one heading if I create a project like I did here with this Van Gogh project that I did. Yep, let me click on it there. There we go. Pretty cool, huh? Now I am going to click the World Book Student banner here to get back to that original search. And I really like that table that I found on Greek Gods, so I'm going to go save that one into my research and I come back here to the tables and I can save it to my research folder a couple of ways. I can either click in this box and click save to my research or I can click on the article itself and do save to my research here and I'll just save it to a new project. And Then when I click on my research there it is, right there. This is a great database to start your research. Use it at school or at home, save articles to your personal research account, and use all the great tools Worldbook Online has to help you learn the information. And you're well on your way to a successful research project.